All right, thank you so much for sticking with Daybreak. This is Cities and TV. So today we want to give special attention to the education sector and how that has been influenced by COVID-19. Right now we want to talk to Sifuna Otoa. He is a teacher and a parent. He's a teacher at the M-Pesa Academy. Just to sort of talk about the school calendar and how it has been affected. Sifuna, good morning. If you can hear me, it's great to have you. Um, so much has happened with the schools having to be closed down from primary, secondary to high, all the way to university. Perhaps um, my first question would be how the school calendar has taken a different turn um, from where you stand as a teacher you see this every day how has the school calendar been affected this year uh, uh, thank you thank you very much uh, uh, Cindy, for having me this morning uh, I, I want first of all to start by uh, actually calling upon my fellow Kenyans to adhere to the government regulations and uh, uh, try to actually the government uh, uh, initiative to contain this uh, scourge that uh, has gotten us. I want to commend the Minister for Health, Bwana Mutai Kagwe, who is doing uh, all that is within any human purview to actually make sure that uh, uh, this uh, the, the pandemic is uh, contained here in Kenya. Yes. Uh, I also want to say that 25 uh, as it is now, mm -hmm. is, is also a cause for alarm. So I want to call all the for, uh, roughly 47 million Kenyans to exercise a lot of uh, discipline and restraint. Right. And uh, especially when it comes to social distancing. Because since we, we, cannot, we cannot underscore the fact that if we continue to uh, play or to joke with this pandemic, the effect it has on education is very... Uh, 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 big. You have asked well that uh, the effect that it has caused on the education sector it has already been uh, felt already, all the way from uh, the early learning uh, to the uh, highest pinnacle. Okay. We yes. are talking of uh, already an academic calendar, Cindy, yes. that is already in jeopardy. We were just uh, two weeks uh, shy from sitting end of term exams. The students have proceeded to an abrupt uh, leave mm. uh, during that uh, end of uh, uh, semester or end of uh, uh, term uh, uh, testing and or evaluation, as you uh, will wa you will want to put it. Yes. And, and this has put uh, the whole to uh, teachers, the planners, uh, the curriculum implementers into a very uh, sorry state of affairs. Mm -hmm. and, and and so we are contemplating if uh, this uh, uh, but. Uh, or this um, uh, COVID-19 takes uh, an extra, like uh, people are projecting two to three months. I am only reckoning, Cindy. I'm only praying because I know I'm a prayerful person that if only we can only come back by May, then everything can be contained. But anything beyond of May, when the normal school calendar opens next term, if there is any projection of even a single day, I'm telling you, since without any fear, of, that our ca academic calendar shall be in uh, in, in total disarray. Mm -hmm. We are talking of uh, um, uh, teachers who are working so hard to complete mm -hmm. the the the, the, the That is going uh, to be uh, a mirage. Eh? Yes. You get that? We are talking of uh, um, the teacher service commission uh, having it activities, including uh, uh, promotion, uh, actually inviting teachers right. to go in for what we call uh, um, uh, uh, promotion to the next uh, cadres of their their. Right. So that Sifuna, so will, Sifuna yes. what exactly can parents do at home and what exactly can even students themselves do at home to make sure that learning continues? April is right around the corner. We know April is the month when education experts fly over to the UK to take a look at um, the printing of the examinations of the exams. So what can exactly. parents and, t and um, students do at home during this time? Yeah, yeah, a very pertinent question, uh, Cindy. Yes, uh, I, I have listened to Katina uh, elaborate uh, the role of the parent, and, and uh, I'm very happy because I think uh, this COVID-19 has also uh, uh, forced the parents into realizing their role. But, but uh, let me uh, 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 surprise you, Cindy. Yes. Most of the parents are, are already actually running out of options. They are already frustrated. I actually read on uh, social media yesterday, mm -hmm. one of the parents say, if I was a teacher, I would have resigned by noon. 
You get it? Yes. They are realizing that the role played by a teacher is so overwhelming. But I, I just want to encourage the Kenyan parents that uh, <clears throat> this is the, the, the time you need to exercise your parental role. First of all, uh, Katina has elaborated very well on what digital uh, uh, literacy, digital learning, or platform can actually do or come in to mitigate uh, this um, uh, uh, the quagmire we are in. But, but, but I just want to say that uh, it is also the role of that parent to go an extra mile and check out what are these students uh, doing on that online platform, Cindy? Right. Uh, you realize that we are dealing with uh, the age groups, especially in the high school where I am uh, best. We are also dealing with uh, very high levels of deviancy and truancy. So I uh, also uh, expect that, uh, that uh, these uh, uh, learners are actually making 100% use of the online platform, mm -hmm. but others are actually utilizing this time to even become uh, 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 become more deeper. So Sifuna, what about for kids? What about for school-going children who come from... Um marginalized areas we're talking about the true kanas the garissa yes. the northern part of the country but what about children who learn from the village what's mm. their option yeah it, it is to be quite challenging you you, you get that those remote uh, villages or remote uh, areas mm. have got uh, one problem of accessibility to this the the president uh, the other day uh, 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 in his uh, brief at state house talked uh, about something that i said wow the president is also uh, becoming actually pertinent and, and, and very close to this uh, whole thing about uh, the learners in the country, about the creation of the Google loan um, and uh, the creation of the 4G uh, 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 data network that will actually be roaming over. We, are, we as teachers, we are expecting that quick implementation. So far, I've not seen any balloon uh, hovering uh, in any of the locality that I have uh, been. But uh, I'm telling you, Cindy, if that one uh, is executed, it is a big, big uh, 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 plus to the academic. However, like you rightfully put it, uh, some of the remote villages of this country, I'm talking, for instance, some parts into uh, uh, Mount Elgon up there. We are talking of uh, some parts of Samburu. We are talking of very many, uh, uh, the percentage of the, uh, the Kenyan uh, population that is within those uh, remote areas. And even connectivity is a problem. But even if the connectivity is sorted out since the question of accessibility. We right, accessibility, right yes. Now, we are talking of families right now that are living from heart to mouth. Mm -hmm. And this COVID-19 has even exacerbated the whole situation. Right now, parents are even running up and down to look for basic things such as food. They do not have even on a single smartphone easy. I am uh, uh, talking of a situation where I'm just uh, trying to wonder. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I think the question of the laptop project will have been implemented to the very letter. I'm telling you, if that uh, project will have gone in, and at least one, each and every pupil or learner in this country could have a gadget that can access internet. You... Uh, how it will have gone right. to remedy so, Sifuna, this question. Right. So, as a teacher, I'd love your thoughts. What do you think about KC KICD's radio learning? Yeah, the KICD radio learnings are good, but mm -hmm. again, uh, 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 I'm still going back to the behavior uh, or the psychology of our students. Right. Uh, being a teacher, I've also done uh, a lot of psychology. Mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, the question... Some of the fears are, is, are the students disciplined enough to follow the, that uh, KICD timetable? Right. To make sure that at 11 or uh, 30, for instance, mm -hmm. there is a biology lesson going on and I'm behind a radio with a notebook and all that. So the whole thing, Mutai Kagwe has said, let us take this thing seriously. It's not a joke. But how I'm effective is radio learning? How I'm effective is radio learning? I'm to the, to the, to the, to the learners. Let them take uh, the, the, the lessons or the, uh, the opportunities that have been prevented, uh, presented to them seriously. Uh, COVID-19 has come in. The teaching and learning has not stopped. Life has not stopped. So it all spills down the responsibility of that particular thing. For a fact, a student who is mature, a student in high school, a 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 high school
those who are applying common sense are benefiting out of this particular situation. I remember since when I was uh, just uh, doing my KCSE in 2002, yes. there was a very long, pro uh, a prolonged uh, teacher strike that was occasioned by the labor uh, uh, disputes that uh, have characterized this country for a long period of time. And by then, we were in third term, and we were almost approaching KCSE. And I'm telling you, the, the fear that... Uh, and, uh, the, the, the nation was that even KCC was going to be affected. However, miraculously, we came out of that. It is high time for the teacher, for the uh, student. And, and my fear goes to the candidate classes, Cindy. I'm talking about the, uh, the KCP uh, candidate this year. I'm talking about the KCC candidate this year. It is uh, something that actually you look at the parents first, you look at the teacher, uh, the, the, the student first, and you reckon with them. You sympathize with them. Already it is taking a toll to this particular uh, learner, uh, group of learners. I think the government also needs to, play, uh, through the Minister of Health, need to deploy uh, counselors to actually talk to this particular student and reassure them that, uh, yes, this uh, uh, pandemic will go away, and you'll, you'll, you'll actually come back, and the teachers will do what is humanly possible to cover the same your exams shall be done. Right, the, Sifuna, the, now the, as a teacher, the, as a teacher, let's talk about the exam setting. Given that yes. now KCP and KCSC this year have clearly been um, disrupted with the COVID-19, what will examination look like in 2020? What will exam setting look like? Yeah, already you, you, you have already indicated uh, one thing that is very worrying. A team of experts uh, led by Kenya National Examination Council were to visit the day where the printing is taking place. That has been put on, on, on hold. The other week, uh, just uh, one week down the line, you saw Kenya National Examination Council put uh, on hold. Uh, I think it was a technical for a business-related uh, exam. That. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, since without any doubt again, that uh, the testing and uh, even evaluating and uh, the time limit for assessment is something when I remain with no, no doubt about it. Because exams uh, for effective, uh, the efficacy of the exam starts from the very day it is set to the very final day. You need individuators, you need supervisors, you need content uh, reviewers, you need uh, people to always uh, periodically look at those exams. So uh, if this goes on, and we are not just talking of, of uh, a Kenyan scenario alone, uh, uh, Cindy, we are talking of a global uh, problem in the education sector and especially in the assessment. And, 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 and I'm just praying to God that uh, this will, be, will work out. Otherwise, uh, this will leave us with an egg on our face, uh, Cindy. All right. And what's the role? What's the role of, of, of teachers during this time as well? The role of teachers and, 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 and the school. We've talked about the role of students and parents at home. Yes. Yeah. What about the role of schools, uh, universities, and even teachers, lecturers as yes. well during this time? First of all, I think the role of, of, of parents, I'm, 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 I'm trying to smile about that because I know we have been instructed uh, very, very vehemently by the employer, first of all, to keep off any form of gathering. So I cannot advocate for any teacher who either out of his personal or whichever motive wants to assemble a group of learners and say, I want to offer uh, remedial services or I want, no. That one is not acceptable. It is a hundred percent isolation. It is a hundred percent social distancing. However, uh, having said that, Cindy, I think uh, 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 some of the teachers who are gifted in terms of content uh, creators, uh, we have what we call content creation, uh, Cindy, which again we are leveraging. And, and I just forgot to say that. Look at uh, at, at, at even uh, the implementation of Grade Four. Uh, um, uh, uh, CBC, um, uh, competence-based curriculum. It, uh, uh, the, the whole question of uh, CBC was also to leverage on digital literacy. So those teachers who can create content, they can sit within the confines of their living rooms and with their laptops, uh, create content and share it online. I think this is the time to do a lot of philanthropy, share it to your students. But again, I'm telling you uh, one thing about the challenge, uh, Cindy. Yes. The, the, the education system in this world has been uh, the presence of a physical teacher in the presence of a child or uh, of a learner 
is very, very significant. We have heard uh, reports about um, uh, students who are not in the meeting. Uh, I, as Dr. Sifuna, might be so magnanimous to create some content in English literature, share it with my students, and express that at 11 o'clock or uh, end of uh, business today, I receive standards which I have asked uh, the learners for the purpose of uh, uh, monitoring or evaluating that learning process. But as it is now, since I'm telling you, uh, most of these students are not submitting the, the, the responses back. And so it makes the whole process of digital learning quite a, a, a joke, I think. Uh, let me use the, uh, the minister's word. It is quite a joke for learners who cannot take this um, digital learning uh, very seriously. Number two, I, I, I think um, the teachers also need to to be uh, uh, counselors. Eh? They, they, they also need to motivate uh, the learners. Kindly uh, ensure that you keep in touch with your learners. Every, every time um, uh, since I work and uh, the, there is the TikTok uh, the, uh, passing uh, so uh, Sifuna, the time. At, Sifuna, at the end of the day, when all is said and done, can, how long will it take our education sector to recover from this COVID-19 impact? I said I have, uh, I have given you a hypothesis. If it happens that uh, God intervenes and we come back by May, which is the uh, next term opening, I'm telling you, I understand the Kenyan teachers. They work day and night. And I was just thinking about some of the interventions will uh, even include working even to odd hours. It will include, uh, uh, you know, no, normal lessons uh, uh, roughly in Kenya starts at 8 a.m. and end up uh, at around 5, uh, 5 p.m. So we, we, we can anticipate a situation. That is if we come by May, uh, when, when uh, the second term starts in. All right. Sifuna, what would be your closing remarks? Perhaps your advice to your fellow teachers? All right. So we seem to have lost um, Sifuna Otoa there towards the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. But that was Sifuna Otoa. He is a teacher and a parent, a teacher at the MPESA Academy. Sifuna, can you still hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Oh, there you go. Yes, uh, I was asking you perhaps for your closing comment, um, your advice to your fellow teachers during this COVID-19. Yes, I'm hearing Oh, there you go. Yes, I was asking you perhaps for your All closing right. comment. We seem to be having um, 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 technical problems there, getting Sifuna towards the end. But generally, we've already had the biggest part of this conversation. We've already had him um, uh, talking about um, how learning still needs to continue at home and the exam setting part of it. That's Sifuna Otoa. He is a teacher and a parent, a teacher at the MPSA Academy. This is Daybreak. We want to take a quick commercial break. Today, we're taking a specific education on how COVID-19 has impacted the education sector here in Kenya. We've seen primaries, high schools and universities having to close their doors and send and um, pupils, students um, home. We, when we come back, we'll be talking to a teacher, not a teacher rather, but to a student, Oliver Churchill. He'll be joining us uh, from South Africa, Johannesburg. South Africa is one of the biggest um, countries, concerns here on the African continent. Tomorrow being Thursday, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has decided that the country will be on lockdown for the next three weeks. We'll get to hear from a Kenyan living in Joburg.